Hello. So there's been a lot um, going on in the whole gender critical world. Um, in the last couple of days, um, lots of activity on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. And of course, um, everybody wants to know about Beck Stinson getting transphobic abuse in Starbucks. So I thought I'd start off with talking about that. Beck Stinson is the trans inclusionary officer at Stonewall. Stonewall is the UK's largest LGBT campaigning organisation. And um, Bex works for them. And I've got a special interest in Bex, let's say, because Bex um, was the only trans activist who um, volunteered to speak at our first event or at any of our events. And Beck Stinson and her colleague um, Claire House, who's a lesbian, I believe, who works at Stonewall, not in the trans bit, um, they were going to come and speak again, um, you know, argue against Julia Long and Miranda Yardley about the Gender Recognition Act. And then just before the event, like three days before the event, I got an email from Beck saying that um, they'd got a last minute offer to go on a hiking holiday. So they were going to have to cancel and then Claire House cancelled and then we were left without anyone to defend the law. And we were then accused of having a one-sided debate. And I, I, I sometimes wonder whether or not Beck Stinson was going to um, ever speak or if that was always the plan to leave it in the lurch without, you know, so that we had left it too late to get another speaker. Who will ever know? But anyway, the main news in the land of trans and um, feminists this week is Beck Stinson's transphobic abuse in um, Starbucks UK. And Starbucks, for anyone who doesn't know, is a big coffee shop chain and it's such bad abuse. It's been divided into seven tweets because it couldn't fit in just the one. So let's read it. So number one of seven. So at Starbucks UK is not safe for hashtag trans people. It's disgusting that Starbucks has a culture which fosters transphobia. It's shameful Starbucks believe that they have no responsibility for the mental health trauma they cause their customers. They hurt me and they humiliated me. Tweet two of seven. Late at night, in at Starbucks UK, I sought a friendly space and coffee. I was escaping transphobia outside. Absolutely terrified. I needed somewhere safe to give me the strength as a trans woman to walk home. Starbucks certainly didn't let me down. Nope. They abused me too. Tweet three of seven. Instead of nursing my venti four-shot gingerbread latte, I know I'm basic AF, and building my resilience to face walking back in the dark, I was laughed at and mocked. Staff made a game of guessing my gender and I was labelled a man and a tranny. I sat there, unable to challenge them. Four of seven. Outside was unsafe for me. At Starbucks UK was unsafe for me. I needed to get home as quickly as I could. I broke down. It's a difficult time and I've been struggling with my mental health this experience only made me want to lock myself away. But I managed to raise a complaint. Tweet five of seven. And this is where the knife was twisted. Where at Starbucks UK humiliated me. After conversations and escalation, I was told the company values equality and diversity. That they stand for, that they don't stand for discrimination, but that they couldn't care less 
about the stress, the anxiety and pain. Six or seven. I was finally told that at Starbucks UK we're going to make amends. But that my stress and anxiety weren't worth anything. Instead, I could have four coffees for free as goodwill as long as it got me back into Starbucks. They have been heartless. Last, last one, seven or seven. It's clear at Starbucks UK don't care about my mental health or the transphobia that I have faced or the distress for which they are to blame. It is not safe for me. So I won't be taking those four coffees. They won't ever get me back into Starbucks. I'm ashamed I ever drank there. Okay, Bex, well, I hope you're okay and that you're holding up. And I just want you to know that radical feminists are rooting for you here. And um, maybe give Costa a go. I don't think Costa are transphobic. There's one right opposite Goldsmiths University. All right, everyone, have a great time. Great night. Let's see what drama happens over the night on Twitter, on Facebook. And we'll see you all in the morning at Dr. Radfem on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Good night.